I'm Carol Hadlock. I'm the president of Friends of Runnymede Park. We are an all-volunteer nonprofit organization that um, operates under the auspices of the Town Parks and Recreation Department. And our mission is to preserve, protect, and enhance Runnymede Park, which is a large 44-acre park that stretches along Sugarland Run. We have forest, we have meadow, we have trails. We offer bird walks on, once a month in non-pandemic years. We do a native plant sale in the spring and the fall, and that's what's taking place behind me here today. We weren't able to use it in the park because of COVID restrictions, but we're just delighted that Art Space Lawn was available. Our big, big production is always Nature Fest, which happens in September. That's the one thing that we really put a lot of effort into, and it draws lots of people from all around. Family, a really big family event, and there's no charge. You just walk through the park, visit all the different stations, learn about different animals, birds, reptiles. Our vendor today is Watermark Woods Nursery, and they're located outside of Hamilton, Virginia. They grow, they sell only native plants, native to Virginia, and they are organically grown. The important thing about those is that native plants have developed, evolved with our native insects, our pollinators, and um, these are grown without neonicotinides, the, the nasty pesticides that get absorbed into the plants. So we're really happy to have Watermark Woods with us. Hi, I'm Julie with Watermark Woods Native Plants here in Hamilton, Virginia. We're here in Herndon today to help out the Friends of Runnymede Park with their uh, fundraiser plant sale. All the plants that we're selling here today are native to the Piedmont region of Virginia and they're grown without pesticides. So we're offering a good clean meal for our pollinators. And we choose to sell native plants because we believe that our yards should be functional as well as beautiful. So one of the reasons people like to plant native plants is that they're a lot easier to grow than some of our ornamental plants. They require less watering, less pruning, because they've evolved here in Virginia, so they know how to grow in Virginia, even in our crazy clay soil. So there's just a wide range of, of plants to choose from, and there's a plant for every function in your yard, no matter what, what kind of yard you have. Hi everybody, my name is Lori Herman and I'm a local artist. I live here in Chantilly. I tend to be more of a representational painter. I paint from life and I also paint from my own photos, my own reference material. I really enjoy plein air painting where I'm outside and capturing that sense of light and that sense of time and space. And I'm teaching some classes here at Art Herndon. I'm teaching a plein air watercolor class right now. We do a combination of landscape and some still life, but mostly landscape. So we might do a whole class just on clouds, or we might just do a whole class on trees and landscape and colors. We talk about composition, we talk about value studies, we talk about different artists and art history, all that type of thing. Hi, my name's Dorian. I'm with Studio 797, which is right here in Herndon. I'm actually right up around the corner. I pulled out items that have to do with flora and fauna and um, things that are inspiring because uh, of the horrible year that we've gone through. So I felt like the artwork needed to be a little bit lighter today. So that's what I have available, cards and paintings. I'm doing a really funny thing with the cicadas. So I've got t-shirts and camp mugs and all kinds of fun stuff that I'm getting ready to uh, bring out as soon as the cicadas come out. So anyway, uh, thank you so much and uh, thanks for supporting the arts. Okay, I'm Oscar Vigano. I'm the president of the Artist Coalition of Fairfax. We are a non-profit. Uh, we have a group of artists that, uh, you know, as members. I have been a, an artist <laughs> since I was cave painting, you know, <laughs> when I was young. I like to paint in watercolors. I like, uh, now I'm making mostly acrylics and I like to paint everything. I used to be a commercial illustrator, so I could paint whatever I want to paint. You know, you get used to do anatomy, I mean, animals and whatever. And here we are. When I get older, I'm going to be a good artist. <laughs>
Hi, uh, my name is Andrea Civic, and I am so happy to be here at Arts Herndon on this beautiful day. I'm an abstract painter. Most of my work is very colorful. I'm really interested in exploring light and shadow, translucency and opacity, and overlaying colors. This is part of my um, Color Strand series, and um, it's based on repeated shapes and marks. In this case, it's diagonal lines, as you can see. I don't use a rope, I don't use tape. Sometimes I will use a guide, but um, sometimes I'm just freehanding the lines. For me, it's a building process uh, to, to layer colors and let the, light, um, let the light kind of move down through the, through the layers to, you know, to the surface at the, at the very bottom. So I'm really interested in that construction process of building colors without technically mixing them on my palette all the time. Hi, I'm Lisa Green. Um, I am with Lisa Green Fine Art. That's my business name. I'm, I do mostly landscapes with oils and uh, I also do ink washes, but I mostly like to, to paint like wide open space type of scenes. Anything that feels like, like you're standing in an area full of like solitude and peace. And I've been painting from reference photos that my husband and I take on our travels. So I've got a lot of a lot of the oils here are from Scotland. Um, that's from the Smoky Mountains. And I'm working on some um, marshland, like low country sort of paintings right now because we just came from South Carolina. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Matthews. I love the landscape. So I paint using watercolor and colored pencil and oils. And I love being outside and I have a series right here from the area near the Nature Center in Reston. I have a studio here at Arts Herndon where I have a great big painting of Great Falls that I'm excited about. And I just love anything to do with the landscape. My name is Doug Fuller and I go by the name of Russ Doug. Uh, I collect uh, found objects that I make into uh, sculptures, as you can see. I find things everywhere and anywhere. I do a lot of walking and hiking with my dogs, so I, I find stuff in the woods and streams and uh, parking lots, median strips are good along the road. I found a bunch of things here one day when I was here visiting. I'm looking for what works well together, what things have interesting connections and features that, that kind of complement one another. Most of the stuff I find I, I use as is. I maybe bend a little bit or manipulate a little bit, but I, I like to use things as they are and, and, and kind of celebrate what, what they are as on their own. Hello, my name is Judith White and I'm here at Art Space uh, representing my company, Airbrush Your Way. And not only do I work with airbrush, I work with watercolor and acrylics and graphite. I've worked at different locations, painting all sorts of, of subject matters on so many different types of material. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. I work also with custom designs. You can bring a design to me. I can create that for you. I still enjoy it after 30 years. So this is an example of a small basketball that's been airbrushed. I paint on helmets, leather jackets, t-shirts, sweatshirts, pants, cars, pretty much uh, any, any thing. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. So my name is Chase McLeod and uh, I am a, um, a psychologist by trade, but I also have become an artist uh, because of COVID. <laughs> All of the artwork that is here today is all done with alcohol inks. It's all kind of abstract and fluid art. Alcohol ink is a super saturated, highly pigmented ink. It acts a little bit like watercolors. It's kind of difficult to learn. There's a steep learning curve, but once you get it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Hi there, I'm Miss Deb from Paint Your Own Pottery, 
and we've been around since 1985. We are now a completely mobile art studio with one of our drop-off locations here in Arts Herndon. We sell art for you to create. We sell bisque that's already been fired, and we send you home with glazes, brushes, and instructions. And then you bring them back and you fire them. And after they're fired, they're perfectly good for the dishwasher, of course. But the fact is, you've made it yourself. And if you say, gee, I can't do that, we can help you out. So uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's we're, you're literally making memories, not just making an item.